receive a love letter 40 years late. Young lovers, they may not weather the storm, but at least they can show off their tan line. Walking through dusty fields, have you ever listened to the hum of a pylon? You see, the dog doesn't seem to care, but I take a step closer. I like the sounds the table makes, a melody up and down, a muffled jazz in Lime Street on the ground, a Beatles cassette played in a car park. It sounds thin and cheap, like a lukewarm carton of orange juice, as the straw pierces that fill and I drink one. Half-time oranges just taste sweeter. The superstition sprinkles some sugar on the days to come. I love the smell of warm tarmac. Smooth as skin as it smacks my bare feet. A misplaced A to Z. The sense of direction, always lost but nameless roads are prettier. I'm angry at circumstance. A rogue wave. Wiping the sand from my eyes, pulling socks over pale toes. The sea salt clings to our hair. Now I'm not sure what to wear. I reach for a flash of colour at the bottom of the basket. A prized catch, but I can never find a match in socks. A fishing line necklace threaded through shells, bells and colourful plastic. Through the precious and the strange. The analog click spools out onto the floor, wearing back to where it started. Now what to do with all these things? Our collection, hoarding is such a dirty word. I will repaint the cabinet. We gave up on a lawn some time ago. Dandelions pepper the ground. A new cherry tree wrestles with the bluebells and blossoms in time for tea. They are not weeds, but now they are wild flowers. The Christie Hospital is sat in an orchard of cable trees. His mechanical bird song fills the room. One of your postcards, a conversation borrowed from the collection and slotted back in its place.